Hey guys, welcome to part 20, I think, of this uh, Valheim No Death Run. So far we haven't died, and that's good, I guess. So we found the location of Moda. Um, after searching this area here for ages and finding nothing but loads of eggs everywhere, we actually found Moda's location in a frost cave over here, which I forgot to mark as cleared. Um, but that's where I'll be teleporting back anyway, so I'll do that as soon as I get back. Um, we have no idea what's over here, it's all obstructed by fog of war. There might be eggs there, there might not. So I think it'd be a good idea if I come over here, grab an egg and bring it to the boat, just in case. Yeah, my inventory is fine, really helps that we've got this. Food-wise, we're okay. Not great, I think we could use a bit more actually. So let's make some deer stew. That should keep us going with that for a little while. And sausages... Yeah, we've got reserves of that. I'll just chuck a few in there. Uh, put half of these in here. Mince meat sauce. See, that's 40 health. And this one here is 50. Both of the same hit points per tick. This one lasts longer. So it's, it's usually more efficient. But when we're fighting motor, we should definitely be using that. But in the meantime, uh, maybe I'll just eat mince meat sauce. Just because it's cheaper to make. I still got the carrots in my inventory. Because, yeah, I don't really need necktails for anything else now. That'll do. And we'll save those, um... Black puddings... So what are they called? Black soup... I always call it, like, something else. Uh, for... Another... Another time. Uh, okay, there we go, put that in there. We've got onions going as well, so before we fight Moda, we need to have the onions... ...grow. These, these are the foods that we need to have eaten when we come to the fight. We need wolf skewers, sausages, and black soup. Because that'll give us the highest amount of max health. Okay, it is Teleporter 9, which is actually this one here. Should eat from that. Alright, let's get going. Okay, so mark this area here is. Wait, I, I never cleared it, did I? I just ran out as soon as I found it, so I'll just go. Uh, frost Cave. Not clear. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to put ED at the end of it, but there's a text limit. Oh, thank you. Want my bronze back? Are we going for weight? Yeah, yeah. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We can carry about. We can definitely hold on another three by uh, two hundred. All right. Now I've got to find that egg that was around here somewhere. Are we going for arrows? Yeah, we're okay. Good, thanks to the poison attack of this boat. Got through their health there. And that one's dead. Cool. Okay, there's an egg. Chances are we'll find three eggs if it's a reasonably sized mountain. Um, but there's no guarantee of it. So... We'll see. Yeah, my boat's right here. I, for I forgot to mark it. I really need to do that. Especially if I'm having breaks in between play sessions. Yeah, if I didn't have this, I wouldn't be able to carry all the stuff. Any 
Sydney Wolves. Got no problem with fighting them now. As long as we don't get overwhelmed by them, that's the big thing. Alright, we're definitely going to need mushrooms to make those wolf skewers. I've been collecting them the entire game, and it's almost time to spend them. Cool, run 65. We want that as high as possible. Possibly the most important skill in the game. So I always try to run everywhere, get this skill up. Still can't believe this is all just one island here. Where's my boat at? <laughs> Where did I put it? There it is. Okay. Oh wow. Filled up my inventory. That's okay. That's okay. All right, and we don't really need to put a teleporter here. We've we've left that one there, so you know we can technically walk across here if we if we need to through teleporter rates. Um, if I was going to put another teleporter down, I'd probably do it on the north side of the island. But uh, well, I guess this is a meadow here, so there'd be a lot of um, birch trees, which is something we're struggling a little bit to get. But uh, I, I guess I wouldn't worry about it. Need repairs. Throw this. Yeah, if you have a look, you can't teleport this dragon egg and it weighs an absolute ton. Chances are we won't need it, but it's just a precaution since I was there anyway. Yeah, I'm completely beached. Probably gotta wait for high tide to get out of here, or we can just destroy the boat and rebuild it. That'd probably be the quickest way than trying to push it out. Wait, get back over here. Stay still. Right, okay, we'll then toss out stuff that we don't need. So if you get out enough into the water that it's not going to just get beached again. There we go. And wherever we go, don't forget that. It's just that it's a bit heavy. Like, the belt definitely helps, but it doesn't allow us to carry an infinite amount of stuff. What's going on here? Okay. Uh, yep, we're good to go. Okay, off to Modo. 
So by the time we've got the tributes all set up, the onions should have grown. And we'll have the wolf skewers ready. But it would have been so much better if we found those onions, like, in the first mountain that we went to. Because we were there for ages. Oh, yeah, come on. It's like a rock here. Definitely doesn't help that the wind is not favorable in the direction that we want to go. Okay, we're moving again. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't leave this wood behind. Oh yeah, there's no wind. Alright. Just gotta get around this point here, and then we'll be fine for wind. Okay, I'm actually picking a little bit up now. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we've already seen that... Um, I'm, I'm fairly sure this is connected. It, it seems very unlikely that I'd be able to sail right through it, especially since we could see that it wasn't when we were sailing through here. Um, we've got to go around it this way, and it looks like that's part of the island as well. We could stop off by the base as well, since we're going to be sailing right past it, and I'll just drop off the bronze. That way, I'll be able to just teleport back from motor, assuming I don't pick up anything else. It's definitely a, a low yield drop off, but it's better than nothing. I mean, how much bronze did we get? Yeah, 15 bronze. So if you could think about it, it's actually 15 tin and 30 copper as well. And that's just from uh, destroying uh, fire pits at the uh, at frost caves as we've been exploring. Now, I'm really not particularly worried about motor. I didn't really find it an overly challenging fight the first time I fought him. And I was pretty much exactly about as ready as I am now. Although, I did have the Draugr Fang at rank 4 instead of rank 3. Because currently I've got it at rank 3. I should have enough silver to get up to rank 4 now. So we'll go and do that, and that'll be about as ready as I, as I was before. The only thing is with Motor is that he really hits quite hard with his breath attacks, if it hits you. It can be very easily dodged if you stay moving. But yeah, if it hits you head on, it can wipe out, a, I don't know, 100 health right away. But the thing is, last time I fought him, I didn't think to drink a frost-resistant potion. I just had my armor on. I just don't know if it all stacks, that's all. I mean, I've got the frost resistant potions, and I don't need them anymore, so I might as well drink them and just see how we go with it. The only other thing that I could possibly do to prepare more is to go into the plains and get access to uh, flax so that I could actually get 100 armor. But I don't think that makes much sense right now. We we'll also need to take stock of how much iron we've got, because the padded armor requires iron. So we'll probably have to go into a swamp again and just get a bit more iron. But we should do that when the flax is actually growing. Just thinking about this area right here. There's tiny little plains there with no creatures on it. That's exactly where we want to grow flax and barley, because there's a... 
You have to you have to grow it in the plains, that stuff. Oh, the wind changed. I was gonna cut through there, but that's actually not the way to the base anyway. Yeah, I'm getting too close. Yeah, these little islands out this way here usually are quite deserted. It's just a good good place for doing some farming, if you want to build there. So that's how much of the world map we've explored so far. Next to nothing. We've explored absolutely nothing of the northern half. It's just massive how big this map is. Now, when I first found out about this game, and it said it was a 10-player co-op, I was like, ugh, the map will be really small. Well, that was just a silly assumption, wasn't it? This map is way bigger than Ark Survival Evolved's map. Way bigger. I do wonder why they only allowed for 10 people at a time, but then again, I guess, since solo games of this is actually possible, Having like a big run of 30 people would probably cause massive amounts of lag. Especially with a map of this size. So that's why they're limited to 10. Who knows, maybe later down the track when it comes out of early access, maybe they'll open it up to more people and have more difficult bosses or, or uh, like game modes. Alright, give me that. Okay, got a decent amount of bronze left over. And Drake heads will just uh, just go over here. And we keep the wood on us because we need that for building workshops. It's something that I usually forget about. Uh, while we're here as well, why don't we upgrade our uh, Draugr fan? Because I've... Oh, that's right. That's a whole bunch of iron. I didn't smell silver. Right. I... Okay. I need to get onto that then. Ugh. I don't have much of that. Still got plenty of coal. Yeah, let's get more of the silver smelted. So it'll be about another half an hour or so before the onions are ready. But I doubt we're going to be ready to fight motor by then anyway. Okay, cool. That should be enough silver to upgrade the Draugr Fang. I'm pretty sure it was requiring 30. Yeah, okay. Okay, looks like we're not completely stuck here. I should be able to get out. Yeah, we're moving. 
Uh, sort of. We rely on the high tide waves. It's coming, but... When the waves come in, we can paddle out a little bit. There we go. Okay, we're good. Alright, off to motor. I can't believe how close it is to Teleporter 1, considering how far we had to go for, um, bone mass. Uh, hang on, hang on. Don't ever... Okay, it fixed it up for us. Come on. Come on. Squeeze through. Three-point turn. Okay, tiny bit of damage. No big deal. Is that big massive rock always there? Like this one right here? Has it always been there? I'm assuming it has. <laughs> I don't think I ever noticed it until right now. Alright, we got wind. Let's go. So how damaged is it? Yeah, we're fine. Alright, hopefully we'll also encounter another serpent. Well, I haven't yet built the uh, iron cook cooking rack to be able to um, cook the serpent meat. Oh, what if we ate serpent stew as well instead of um, black po uh, black soup? That would actually be better, wouldn't it? Serpent stew, yeah. So I got enough iron to build that thing. Just that I don't have that much serpent meat, that's all. So here we go. The winds are fairly calm. If we do encounter it, I, yeah, I would like to kill another one. So keep an eye out for it. Okay, we're... I think we need to turn around a little bit here. Go a little bit further east. Uh, which is tricky, because of the wind. Because, yeah, it'll be easier and easier to kill the serpent as our bow skill improves and uh, we get better bows. Okay, wind's changing. Let's go. Oh, I didn't see that there. <laughs> Damn it. No, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. We just got it. Maybe it is pretty bad. Come on. Push it out. We're okay. All good. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Okay, we're good. Okay, getting close. Now it's quite possible that this island here is actually the island that Motor is on, but I don't know. It's 
So yeah, I'm not concerned about murder too much, but I am concerned about Yagluth. That was actually a tough fight. I really don't know if um, wearing like full Fenrir armor is going to really make that big of a difference against all of his magic attacks. Because he's sacrificing a lot of armor for fire resistance in that situation. And shooting him is definitely not an option. Well, I'm doing a bit of exploring, but it's just not a direct line to it there. Say so that is probably the island. Do you know what's funny? This island here might actually be all connected. Just don't know. Ah, I can't see it. It's alright, it's only a little bit of damage. We have a look. Yeah, we're fine. Troll sitting out the coastline, waiting for us. Okay, we're starting to get around this island here. Okay, the winds are calm and we're close to the ocean. Let's go back out since it's still night time. I really want to kill another serpent. Although, no, it's fine. It's not spawning at the moment. Yeah, now would be a great time to fight one. We've got this open run of water here. It's calm waters. I got my rested bonus. Oh, really just going right around this, aren't we? Getting closer to him, but it does feel like this is all the same island that he's on. The wind's been pretty favorable, which is nice. Okay, it's getting closer. Shouldn't be encountering any planes out here. Maybe a swamp, but no planes. It's too close to the center of the world. This has got to be the island that he's on. It's just a big island. Come on, game. What's... Oh, it's saving. All right.
I think with the more islands you discover, the longer it takes to save, because these islands technically don't exist until you've actually arrived there. And so, as you arrive on more and more islands, the game has to save more and more data. Yeah, this is this is gonna be the, the island that it's gonna be on. Well, I'll just look for a good spot to land, and uh, we'll go do that. Up here, this is where. Right on this rock. Now, I could make a teleporter here, but I don't intend to be bringing any silver back. So, I'll just make note of where the ship actually is. Make sure I repair it. Yeah, and leave that there, that's why I kept 20. That way, if something does end up destroying it, none of the stuff will despawn. Well, I'm away. Okay, motor is due west. Probably could have landed here. In fact, this all might be one island. I just don't know. Like, yeah, maybe. Okay, I have a feeling that this mountain range here is absolutely massive. The big hope, though, is that the area to fight motor is not completely rocky and, like, sharp cliffs and stuff like that, because you need to do a lot of running around, and that'll uh, make it difficult. If it's... I don't care how, how high up it is, as long as it's relatively flat. And we absolutely need to make sure we fight motor during the day, like, early morning, so that wolves don't bother us with an attack during the night. Imagine if we got the you are being hunted event during a boss fight. <laughs> just, just bail. So I'm pretty sure all the bosses heal, but I think Modo doesn't heal very quickly. We also need to keep out an eye out for more eggs. If it's a big mountain range, which so far looks like it's going to be, and also doesn't seem like too steep, so this is good so far, I think we'll find everything that we need right here. Come on, make it, make it, make it. There we go, good. Oh, you know what? I should probably eat. Um, yeah, have that. There's an egg there. So what's that bow skill at now? 38. Probably would have liked it to be a bit higher. But it is what it is. I mean, I haven't died, so it hasn't ever gone down. I'm not going to be able to pick up another egg right now. It's right over here. There it is. Okay, you know what? This, I can work with this. Okay, that's one egg. Uh, we should put, definitely put a teleporter down, but if we put it too close, motor will just destroy it. Ah. Dra uh, 
uh, skeletons up there. Hmm, they could actually be quite helpful during the fight. Because motors should attack them. So that could be useful for a distraction if I put my uh, teleporter over here, for example. If motor follows me over here, if I need to teleport away. The only reason I think I need to teleport away is if there's a lot of other creatures and I need to just like go get another health potion or something. Come on, man. Oh, they didn't go for it anyway. Okay, egg over there. Well, I tell you, I think we got here a lot quicker than I was expecting. Expecting a few more obstacles on the way. But we've got to find this last egg. Which, given the size of this mountain, I don't think is going to be a problem. Alright, I'll need to also make note of the, uh, the teleporter location. Exactly, so I can always just run straight to the beacon. The, the ping on the map. Nice. Looks like the skeletons have been fighting wolves. Good. Keep harvesting food for me. Now this might be a permanent location for the teleporter. I'm not sure. It's not like I ever really need to fight motor any more than once. Assuming I win. But we'll see. Now I should be able to spot the eggs from a long distance as long as we're not obstructed vision because you can sort of see the little glows can't see anything there go further this way and that being said when we put the egg over there don't, now's not the right time to fight I haven't got the right food and I haven't upgraded the uh, Draugr Fang yet should be fine, even with tier 3. Like I said, the first time I fought him wasn't particularly difficult. He just doesn't attack frequently enough. Gives you plenty of chance to heal. And if we get a large enough rested bonus... We'll be able to keep the fight going for an entire day. Uh, there's quite a few wolves over there. Got to finish up with these drakes right now before we get their attention. Or, maybe... Yeah. I'll just snipe one now. Oh, are you kidding me? That went right through its eyes. Alright, crap. Bone mass. Uh, that may have been a little bit premature on that. I don't think we really need bone mass for the boss fight because he's, he does frost damage and this doesn't protect against it at all. So, you got any eggs for me around here? Oh, careful about this sharp drop.
well, when it's foggy, I'm not going to be able to see too far out. So, just have to search with actually going there. Yeah, by now, the onions should be ready. We've got, what, 14 growing? I really can't see what I'm doing out here. I might be better off just going back to the teleporter. Oh, I've never actually attacked them with that before. <laughs> they got close, but I, I couldn't hit it. Also, I've lost my rested bonus. We've got to go back and get that. Yeah, so far, can't find another egg deposit. An egg nest. But yeah, this storm is... Pretty damn severe, I just can't see what I'm doing. And there's some pretty sharp drops. This is not worth slipping over the edge and getting killed. Oh, there's a frost cave here. Uh, I'll make note of it, but I have no intention of doing that right now. Let's go check on those crops. And the silver. Yeah, this should be enough to upgrade it. Should be. Because I think it required 30. Let me just double check that. Yeah, that should be enough. I've definitely got the uh, ancient bark. Alright, uh, the crops are at um, Teleporter 1, that's actually inside. See, I'm used to running outside because that's where it used to be. But I moved it. Oh, I should bring the cultivator because I will need to replant some of the onions. Because we're going to need them for more than just this fight. be if that's all been destroyed. Nah, it's all good. Just give it a moment. Oh no, they're not ready. I came here too soon. Oh well. I'll just plant these ones while we're here. I'll come back in, I don't know, 10-15 minutes. Well, 45 minutes into the episode, and we planted them in the previous episode, so... Hmm. I guess onions do take a while to grow. Alright, we can do a little bit more preparation in the meantime. We're definitely going to need more arrows. So I'm using iron arrows at the moment from places that I just 
picked them off the ground. Um, I think poison arrows... Oh, we've definitely got enough arrows here. We don't want to use frost arrows at all. That'd be a complete waste. Um, if I had another needle, I could build those, but... Um, I don't have to worry about it. I'm actually quite low on... Feathers. Why don't I do a little bit of a feather run? No, oh, don't go around that way. It's... Get you stuck. So if I just run around the meadows, we'll find birds sitting around. Seems a little bit of a waste to use iron arrows against them, since you know a strong gust of wind will essentially kill them. So I should go and get this wood here and just make a stack of 20 arrows. That should be enough to kill a few birds. I didn't pick up enough. Yeah, I would go catch fish, but uh, it's not really that useful right now since I can't make the re the quiet food that I want out of them. Throw that away. So I think we'll just go and do a, just a little bit of a hunt for some feathers real quick. find some birds. That's why I'm waiting for the onions to grow. Don't want to go back to the uh, the snow just now because it's the afternoon. It's going to... Um, Oh, there's one. It's gonna be night time in a moment. So if every single one of my arrows, the wood arrows, uh, manages to kill a bird, I'll end up with 60 arrows. Now, they should still show up at night, it's just that they'll be harder to see. This is definitely one of those areas where I could have been a little bit more diligent in shooting them throughout the game. I mean, I've seen them, I just it couldn't be bothered shooting at them. Because you get feathers through other means. You find them in treasure chests when you chop down trees, that kind of stuff. But yeah, I've, I've run a little bit low on my feather stock. I'm not seeing any. I think Meadows is usually the best place to find them. They will land in the uh, the Black Forest. Oh wow, have these really not regrown? It's been ages since I've been here. That's interesting. What's in this box? Nothing. Yeah, it said empty. Hmm. Can't find any. Okay, well it's about to be night time. Which will make it harder to spot them. Thank you. 
Yeah. This is, uh, whenever you're looking for something, you just you can't find it. Oh, I didn't put away the start. Uh, the this stuff. I don't need this anymore. Whatever. I'd much rather get the food. All right, I'll just head back to base. <laughs> Pretty low yield to get one. But yeah, either I'm blind or these are not showing up. Well, that was a bit of a waste of time, but I thought I'd encounter more birds. There's my raft over there. Time I got marooned. The bird I found was actually in the Black Forest. I can see some birds flying around over there, but they need to actually land. I'll never shoot them while they're in the sky. It's way too hard. I need to put some stuff away. It's getting ridiculous. I should not have been carrying around all the silver. Never finished building up that other part of the base either. Maybe the onions are ready now. I gave it another 10 minutes. Yeah, I'll put this silver inside. Alright, let's go upgrade the Draga Fang. Alright, let's put this away. That's too heavy otherwise. Well, that was kind of a waste of time. Oh well, that happens. Alright, so we need 15 ancient bark. Easily got that. A whole bunch of guck, which is over here. Is that it? It should be enough. I think I needed five. Uh, we needed some of this and the silver. Good, there we go. Six guck. Cool, we had just enough. With a little bit left over to spare. 
So the upgrade on this will provide how much? Five extra poison damage and three extra pierce damage. Cool. Alright, do it. Very expensive, but I think it's worth it. Okay, let me just put some stuff away. I don't know if there'll be any other use for Guck, but I'll still store it. Okay. Almost smelted all the silver now. Okay. So how are we going for our stone supply? That's full up. Alright, I got one full box. Eh, whatever. Waste of time making that. Hang on, I'm not going to leave here just yet. Not be premature with it. We might actually see some more birds. There's one. There's one. Over there. Right ahead of us. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, damn it. And my way, and my way. Got it. <laughs> Still got the cultivator on me. Let's go and check out the crops. They should be ready by now. I think I went there just a little bit too soon. Because it's supposed to take about an hour. Maybe not every single crop will be ready, but most of them should be. I just need a couple of onions. Oh, right. <laughs> That's not the way to the, um, <laughs> to the farm. Might also be a good idea while we're here to go chop down some trees. We're super low on wood. Including fine wood. Okay, I think... Yep, they're, they're ready. Good. Are they not all ready, but they're mostly ready. Okay, like I said, I, I didn't need tons of onions, I just needed some. So what do we got there? 11 onions. Ah, oh, damn it. Whatever, I'm going to use the bigger ones. Anyway, I might as well just throw those out. All right, plant the onion seeds, definitely. Come on. And maybe just plant one of these onions, that leaves me with ten. Okay, then we need some trees. Let's cut these ones down here. Yeah, because these minor health potions, they're definitely outdated. We should be using the major ones, uh, the medium ones. Can't make major ones yet. Lord, don't you dare destroy my onions. <laughs> I 
And this is why I build these stakes instead of a, like a crappy fence. Alright, I need some more fine wood. Okay, there's some over here. Don't want to be too long because it's morning now. Ideally, I want to be fighting Moda today. Not much fine wood from that. Um, yeah, cut down another tree. A nice number of berry bushes as well. That'll have to do for now. That's not enough for anything important, but I'll just have to do it. Actually, some of the other onions might be finished. Also, another thing is that we should probably repair that fence. Yeah, most of them are just fine. It's only took a tiny amount of damage. They just needed an extra minute. Yeah, plant the onion seeds. Twelve onions. Okay, I plant two of those onions. This is a mess, but whatever. At least we're starting to build up a better stockpile of them. Okay, we've got some junk to throw away. Let's go do that. So, bukeberries, rubbish. That's it, actually. Okay, yeah. Actually, now, now I'll throw away those wood arrows. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Just hold on to those onions for a moment for me. I'll come and use them in just a moment. I'm just got to put some stuff away first. I'm just going to use up the health potion. Time to use uh, better ones. Oh, actually, I had more fine wood than I thought. I thought I was nearly out. Alright, now, let's have a look. So, to make a wolf skewer, wolf meat, mushroom, onion. So, we'll use up all of the, the onions here. 
And this is why we needed so many mushrooms, because it's going to require twice as many as the other ingredients. But if you have a look here, 65 health. Compared to the other stuff, that's 10 extra health in our current best food, which is um, sausages. In addition to also having a little bit more stamina. Although I'm less concerned about um, max stamina than I am about stamina regen. I don't think that the amount of stamina that you have maximum affects your um, stamina regen. It's the same thing with health regen. Okay, so we got... Yeah, I can make more. Yeah, that's why we need so many mushrooms. Alright, I'll hold on to it. Because we're not ready to fight him yet. Okay, also, the serpent meat. If we make serpent stew, we'll be able to get 80 health out of that. So, if we eat wolf skewer, sausages, and serpent stew, that'll give us so much health. Alright, now. Just going to see if I can manage to do this. So, we make the iron cooking... Yeah, I might just be able to make this work. It's going to be ugly. Because I don't want to get rid of the other ones, because it's good for cooking. Oh, you know what? Let's just, let's just do it. We'll just upgrade. Even though we won't be able to cook as much, we can't cook the good stuff unless we get rid of it. It's kind of annoying standing on that does damage to it, but whatever. Alright, I need chains. I think it was three. And three iron, which we've definitely got. That actually takes a little while to cook, that one. But yeah, if we let that turn to coal, I'm going to be really annoyed <laughs> at myself. Yeah, it's still going. Oh, good thing it prioritized the um, the serpent meat over the over the wolf meat because I didn't want to cook that. Slam the door in its face. All right, so we're going to use these potions from now on. I'll take uh, four with me. Okay, since it says we could make serpent stew, what are the ingredients? Mushroom, serpent stew, honey. That's easy. Hang on. Whatever. Whatever the damage they're doing out there, they can... I'll fix it up later. 80 health, 4 hit points per tick. Definitely for the time being, we just use this boss fights until we've got more of it and that'll just take a little bit of time to cook okay I'm gonna put away this this and this. oh god we need to do something about this this is getting very crowded do now is find that other egg and we're good to go all right i'll take the uh yeah i'll 
take that with me and that. Use those up to begin with. Yeah, we're going to have heaps of health for this fight. Okay, we're ready. Let's go back. Which is Teleporter 9, right? Yeah. Yeah, and we got Bone Mass ready again. Alright, let's go. So, quickly find an egg as, as quickly as possible, because it's kind of midday now. Um, not ideal to be fighting him, not in the morning. But one thing that we could do is if it starts to get nighttime, just run through the teleporter and just wait out the night. That's one thing that we could do. Alright, well, I gotta find that egg. I got 13 minutes until the food that we don't have in our inventory expires. Oh man, it's red. I don't think it'll do anything to us. Okay, we also got 21 minutes of rested. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, egg. Egg, 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 egg. Dragon egg. No, I don't want to fight a golem. I'm just going to ignore it. There it is. What the hell? Just gonna skip that. Uh, they'll fight the... Um thing over there. Yeah, they're fighting it. Cool. Alright, we've got the egg. We've got to go fight motor. We're ready. Uh... <laughs> Great. We can get back up. Dangerous way to pick up a meal. Out of my way. Alright, yeah, we're ready to do this. sure there's nothing going to annoy me while I do this. You know what we didn't get? Frost resistance potion. Uh, I can't take this with me. Just quickly go in, get it, get back over there. I'll take two with me because it might take me about 20 minutes to do this fight. Can also have bone mass active as well, but I don't think it's going to do much. It'll only do something if we go into close range with motor, which I have no intention of doing. That's why I brought all these arrows. Oh, we're actually fighting him in the afternoon. The time I said I didn't want to do it. Oh well. Here we go. Look at that health. Are we absolutely ready? Yes. Yes, we're ready.
where? I think it's with Moda. Oh, yeah, I didn't get my rested bonus refreshed. I think it's with Moda. You always keep moving. There he is. That's it. Try to always keep moving. That's really coming for me. Really wish that other Drake wasn't there. So good. But yeah, Moda can chunk away our health really easily. Move, 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 move. If he like hits you head on with one of those attacks. Gotta watch out for our stamina there. I don't think he's hit me once yet. And if he has, I probably just healed it straight away. And these frost crystals everywhere. Happens to be nighttime as well. So if wolves could leave me alone, that'd just be great. Hey, skeletons, hopefully you're willing to fight Moda. Ooh, ooh. Now he's hit me. That did a lot of damage. I don't think my frost resist potion did much there. Still using our iron arrows? No, we've moved on to obsidian. I need to use the poison arrows now. This is why I didn't want to fight at night. <laughs> we're okay, we're okay. Should I use bone mass? Not yet. When we get closer to the end. Okay, if he just wants to sit there and have a little bit of a rest, that works for me. I don't want to get up close to him. Move, move. No, no, don't stall on me now. So far, really hasn't given me too much grief. But if, yeah, if you get a attack head on from that, those uh, ice attacks, dead meat, absolutely dead meat. Mm, 
wonder if the obsidian arrows might actually be doing more damage. Marginally. It's derped out there. It's good. Well, it's not really derped out. I guess he's just having a bit of a rest. Well, we haven't even got him down to half health yet. Just trying to keep an eye on his health bar. It doesn't seem like he's regenerating. Or if it is, it's... Oh, no, no, no. That thing. Really slowly. Okay, I think the obsidian arrows are better when he's landed, because we're getting a lot of shots in quick succession. But when he's in the air, since I don't get as many shots in, I should use the poison arrows, since we could be doing poison damage while he's trying to shoot us. Seems like the poison lasts quite a long time as well. Oh, that's because I do poison by default, right? Of course. I said to myself, or well, I said to you guys as well, I didn't want to fight Motor at night, so when do I fight him? At the beginning of night time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, that hurts. Right, move, move, move. There's a werewolf here. There's a... Oh, God. I gotta get out of here now. Need time to heal. I need time to heal. That was so close to death. Oh, I need time to heal. Friggin' wolves here. Werewolves as well. Oh my god. You know what I'm gonna do? I got bone mass, I'm just gonna go through the teleporter. Oh god, I should not be fighting that at night. <laughs> okay, look, um, he'll still be damaged when we go back there. I, it wasn't motor that was causing me problems, it was everything else. Oh my god. My heart's actually racing there. I came so close to death. I should have waited until morning to start fighting him. As I said I would, but I was just impatient because I've got a limited amount of food. But you know, it lasted all that time. Oh, I gotta, I gotta calm down a little bit. <laughs> And the thing is, as well, waiting for me when we get back are all those wolves. But they will be gone if we wait until morning. Alright. 
Calm down. Let's repair our stuff. Wait till morning. Because, yeah, when, when those other things started coming out, that's when it really became troublesome. Yeah, motor's damage output is insane. It, it really didn't seem like this did anything, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, I don't want to store any more bones. Another thing is, when I get back there in the morning, um, I don't have any other teleporter to go to. It's quite possible Moto will destroy the teleporter. That's possible. As soon as I go through. The teleporter is still there since I can walk right through. And they're, they're technically in stasis right now. Moto might be healing right now, but he seems like he heals really slowly. And we're good for arrows. I didn't even get through half of them. But yeah, it's the wolves that are the problem. Oh, and there's a bloody golem as well. Which I don't know if Motor goes after. I mean, you'd assume so since he's a drake and the drakes go after him. That was actually a bit harder than I than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. We'll need to refresh our food when we go back through the portal as well. Make sure we've got the absolute maximum health because it's quite possible we'll walk through and just get immediately blasted. I could take the small boat and just set sail over this way. I think that actually did zero damage. I think we'll be fine. We've got a little bit of a grace period when we walk through. And also, Moto doesn't have a really high attack rate, so... Might be fine. I just I have to wait until morning. Okay, here comes morning now. Absolutely have to wait until morning. There's something... Oh, there's a piece of wood on the roof. Oh, it's from when I demolished a, um, a sign. That's not a priority. No, but I'll forget about it if I leave it. Ah, I did it over here as well. It's, it's it's morning, but I'm just going to give it a little bit longer. Just a bit. How long does this one here last? 30 minutes. Because, yeah. The worst case scenario is we run through that portal. It immediately gets destroyed behind us. And we get hit by Moda's attack. It shouldn't kill us in one hit. The wolves should be gone. 
Um, I don't have bone mass again for another 12 minutes, and I shouldn't need it. The wolves should be gone, especially the werewolves. Um, you know what might actually help as well? A stamina potion, because if I'm going to have to leg it, I'm going to want to... I'm going to want stamina. You know, it's, it's not a lot. Actually, 80 is, 80 is good. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, those wolves should be gone now, because those are definitely nighttime wolves. Alright. Eat this, 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 and this. Refresh our health. Wait for that to recover just a little bit. We go through. Also, maybe a good idea. Get the rested bonus. Two hundred and twenty five health. Yeah, that should be enough to tank a motor attack. Come on, give me that rested bonus. All right, let's go. All right. To die or not to die? That is the question. Run, 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 run. Okay, that was not a problem. Getting back. Keep running. And it doesn't really look like Motors recovered any health at all. Be passive, be passive, you bitch. No, he definitely recovered some health. Definitely. What's that over there? We're getting some good shots on him now. That's good. Okay. Got that. It hurts, but he there's only a minor hit there. Wonder if he gets more accurate, the more damaged he is. Get that stamina up. Okay, let's use a poison arrow. If this keeps up, we should be fine. Like I said, it's not motor that's the problem. It was those goddamn wolves. And they're gone now. Alright, that's brought him down to half health. We're halfway there. And it's the morning, so we've got plenty of time before we can see more wolves show up. Big-ass dragon. We can hit him. There we go. Come 
Good. Yeah, when he lands like this, this is definitely the easiest time to get him. Distance. Packs a punch if you're getting close. We don't have bone mass. Oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it wasn't so bad, though. I'm set of obsidian arrows. Oh, that packs a punch. I'm going to have a health potion. And look who it is, friggin' Golem. Could you go and fight Moda for me? That'd be a really big help. Cause yeah, I don't have time for you. Thing is with Moda, we need to remain at full health pretty much all the time, because one hit can kill you if you have a low enough um, max health. That's why I use the potion as soon as I get hit pretty badly. Come on, go, go over and fight Moda. We're almost done. I don't think Moda is concerning himself with this stone golem. Well, if I'm gonna have to fight him, I don't want to do it anywhere near Moda, so... Uh, and I, I'm gonna wait for Bone Mass before I do that. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Almost got him. Come on, I want your tears, your salty, salty tears. Uh, let's see if poison does much to stone golem. I don't think it would, but let me just see. Yeah, they're immune to poison. Alright, I need you out of here. Ugh. Can't risk it. I can dodge this stone golem. Ah, no, don't stall while I'm fighting. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> okay, okay. I completely missed. Oh my god, this golem is... More annoying than Moda. I'm 
Okay. We've, we're so close, but this golem is just making it so difficult. Where is it? Yeah, I was hoping Moda would uh, attack the, the golem, but he definitely doesn't. Get that stamina up. Got the stamina potions if I absolutely need it. So close. Go away! I don't have the means to fight you right now. Because you can't be standing still while fighting Motor, and you gotta whack that dude. Damn it. He's gonna do breath attack. No, he's not. He's gonna roar. I'm also trying not to lure them too close to the portal in case they need to get the hell out of here again. Come on, we're so close. We're so close. One more shot. Another shot. No, I ran out of stamina. Gotcha! Okay. <laughs> ah. Now I can fight you just fine. Oh my god. Yeah, you, oh. <laughs> you need bone mass. This, this shield doesn't help. Well, that was an epic fight. And way hard. See, the thing is, the first time I fought Modo, nothing got in my way. I had a few Drake show up, but I didn't have a Golem show up, and I didn't have any Wolves show up during the entire fight. That's why it was easy. Modo on his own is not a problem. It's everything else that gets in the way that's the problem. Alright, well, we got his trophy, and that looks like a few tears for us there. For the Artisan building. Oh, we out of inventory space. Alright, what should we, we don't need this. Yeah, we don't need this. Alright. We did it. We did it. Take some obsidian and we'll head home. Now, we also need to go get the boat. Now should I leave the teleporter here? Teleporter 9? I don't know. Don't really have anything to do here right now. I don't need any more silver. Well, I gotta put the stuff away. Then I think I'll pack up the... Uh... I've got 8 of those. Yeah. Pack up the, uh, what's, what's this? Wolf Fang. Yeah, pack up the teleporter and just walk back to the, um, to the boat. And we'll sail back to, um, wait, do, I don't need to sail back, do I? Now, what am I, I'm not bringing any metal. We'll, we'll sail somewhere else. We'll go, we've got to go to the plains now. Okay, so we can make some new things. If we have, we can get the artisan table. So that's this one here. Now, the thing is with that, is I have no use for any of the things that I can build, apart from the 
Yeah, no, I can't really make use of any of it just yet. We have to get stuff from the planes. Oh, no, I can... I do what I can make. I can make a blast furnace, which means I can smelt the... <laughs> the, the three black metal scrap that I've got. Alright, let's put uh, this stamina potion away, because I'm probably not going to need it again. But there we go, we got through Modo. There was one point where we got dropped down to about 50 health, and I was pretty worried at that point. But we got through it. Might be a good time to just, like, take a break and just, like, build up some of the base a bit more because I can't really put the artisan table down here. It's just too cramped. It's just too cramped. We've got enough stone to, to do a bit more work with it, and I can teleport to some, uh, some areas to go get some more stone if I absolutely need to. We've got heaps of obsidian left over, so if we want to get more... Arrows. Maybe that should just be the standard arrow we use from now on. It's a bit of a waste using it around here, but I don't know why I would. Why don't we go and deposit Moda's head? Now, as for his power, it's very useful for sailing, and that's about it. Because it allows us to have the wind go in whichever direction we're going. So that's good. And then I've got to start a start to plan out exactly which planes I want to go to. Because it could take a while to find Yagluth. Yeah, this one here is finished. Yeah, I don't know why I expected them to be ready. So that's Modo done. Don't activate his power. We'll still need bone mass more than anything. Yeah. It's probably going to take us a while before we're ready for Yaglith. Because of the, the sheer cost of the things that I'm going to need to, to make. Yeah, some tidying up around the base. So if we have a look, let's, let's start planning some things out. If we go to Teleporter 2, there's... There's some stuff over here. There's some planes over there that uh, is unexplored. Um, I don't like putting teleporters in in areas that are not safe. So, I, I, uh, what's good? Meadows and black forests are safe. I don't really think um, this area here is safe. Don't know what's in here. I know that there's a planes. Actually, I'm not sure if there's a planes in that area there. Just not sure. We know that there was heaps of planes in this area here, but this, this one here is very difficult. It's also very far away. Whereas if I come over here and I know that there's a fueling village there. Yeah, we saw it. Because if we want to get barley and flax, that's where you need to go to get it. And then what we can do, as for um, things that are a bit tough, we can lure them into the swamp to get killed. So that I don't have to personally do it. If I'm being a little bit skittish. There's also over here. There's a planes. Right there. Near teleporter 3. So that's somewhere we could go. So we've got options. Places that are close to the base will just make it easier to get this stuff. Uh, this stuff back. Um, yeah. One thing I could do is. Since I don't have any metal on the boat. I could just demolish it. Like, go down to it, demolish it, and then maybe put a, put the portal here. I don't know. But yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of planning we gotta do next to, uh, figure out what our next step is. But anyway, whatever the case is, I need to take a break after that battle. We move on to the plains. We've, we've survived the mountain biome. So, appreciate all the support, uh, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I think part 21 is next. And we'll see you next time. Later, guys. Bye.